Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we're going to do a character guide on Maria, and this is her updated character guide with her new force weapon. And I think she's looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited about uh, my girl Maria here. So, um, in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at her calls, her artifacts, and spheres. Those of you unfamiliar with Maria, she's basically a heal battery character with traps. So, a lot of cool things that people like, because I, I don't know about you, but I love trap characters. I love off-turn. Um, I like healing and battery, so she's a very, very good support slash offensive unit that you can run. Now, her force weapon we'll talk about in the video, it's it's a really good force, but you kind of want to have specific setups to make it look its best, so it's going to depend on if you have that setup or not. Um, but let's start by looking at her calls, and her calls actually are pretty fire. So, uh, her first call is called Arrow Rain. This one isn't, like, too crazy, it's just, like, an attack with a party heal, like, nothing too crazy, right? But the LD call is actually quite good. So this targeted serial fire is very good. So this does a party heal as well. And once again, so she's got double heals, which heals are good to have on your calls. Because once again, you might need that spot heal. But she puts a really nasty debuff on the enemies called Hit Tote. And this basically is an HP damage debuff. So these are like the really good ones. So it's a 20% HP damage taken up. Um, and then it does do like a trap on it as well. So that's, it's very good. And we'll talk about those traps and things as we go through. But uh, Maria's call is actually quite good and one that I honestly have underutilized because it's definitely a good call that I should be using a lot more. Um, I kind of just get locked into certain calls and keep using them, but her call is actually quite good. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at Maria here and we're going to look at her artifacts and her spheres next. So her artifacts, sadly, I haven't like farmed up properly yet, so I'm going to definitely have to do that during this event. So I don't even have like one proper good set. But you want Attack 108, Max Spray 330. So Attack 108, and then you'd want Max Spray 330. Uh, to me, Attack and Max Brave are her two most important stats. Because one, she's doing a lot of damage, and she'll heal scaled on the HP damage, and she's doing like trap type damage. So you're you're getting a lot of damage from her, so you want Attack to maximize on that, and maximize on the healing. But Max Brave is also very important on Maria, because her battery comes from Max Brave. So I've talked about this with other characters that battery on Max Brave. You really want to get that. So to me, Attack 108 Max Brave 330 is exactly what you want there. And then let's go ahead and look at the spheres. So I feel like I do have a pretty good sphere setup on her. So on the A sphere, you want like attack or brave damage. But I would say specifically because I feel like Max Brave is a little bit more important on her than other characters. Go with an attack Max Brave sphere. So something like Yang, Sephiroth, or like Gilgamesh I think could actually work really well here for attack and Max Brave. So I've got a Yang sphere on her. And then um, the C slot, um, her sphere, by the way, is one of the best C slots in the game. Like you hear me mention her sphere all the time, right? You always hear me say Maria Alpha Nod Loot, Maria Alpha Nod Loot. And the reason why is these are like the premier um, party attack up ones. And Maria obviously does a ton of healing, so she can use her own, right? So those are really good there. If you really want to focus on attack, you could go with something like a Garnet. But I really do like the party attack up here. So I would definitely go with like her own. Like I think her own is just fine. And if you're building up for the first time, you're going to have access to this. So Maria's Sphere, I would say, is pretty good best in slot there. Um, Loot and Alpha Nod, same thing. Like, they're both all very good, right? Um, then on the D slot, once again, Party Attack here is good, but I think Hope is best in slot because it's Max Raven Attack. So right there, I would say Hope. But any of the other ones, like Ash, Lee, Saz, like, those are all good, like, Party Attack up ones you can do. Um, just avoid like Luna Freya. She doesn't really do weakness damage. She does have wind damage, but she doesn't like imperil or anything. So I wouldn't go crazy and put like a weakness damage sphere on here. So I would go ahead and do hope there. To me, to me, this setup is kind of like a best in slot type of setup. I just don't have like the full sphere for Hope or Yang. I do have the ability to make more. I just have to get the materials to do it, right? So I might do that if I like her enough. Um, and you can see my Maria here, I've got fully decked up, right? So I've got uh you know, full max out of fire. I've got blue armor, force enhanced 30. Um, pretty much got the spheres decked out. Artifacts, I don't have fully decked out, but you're not going to notice that too much. Of course, we got the costume. The costume is pretty fire. So what we're going to do is we are going to hop into a fight, and I'm going to hop into this very aggressive Ultimecia fight, and we're going to see how she can handle it. Um, and this specific team setup of Minwoo and Celis is going to operate very, very well for her FR effect, which we're going to talk about. So let's go ahead and hop into the fight. And I do need to bring a Force Charger here. So, I think I am going to grab a selfie. Uh, let's hope this isn't a GIMP selfie. We don't want those GIMP selfies, right? Let's just double check. All right, the selfie passes. You pass. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. 
And the big thing with Maria is I would just open with LD and we'll talk about that in a minute. But other than that, you can pretty much do the attacks in whatever order you want. You just want to make sure you're upkeeping buffs and certain debuffs on the enemies, right? All right, so this, let's see how nasty this gets here because I don't have like Gladio to just protect me, right? So I just have to be very careful that like, I'm going to put like a Raijin debuff on um, just to make sure I don't like instantly die. But let's do a couple of debuffs here. And then honestly with Celis, um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm literally going to like Runic and I'm going to BT effect with her. I need to LD with her too. I have a lot of things I want to do with Celis, but um, oh, Celis, uh, or sorry, I thought I was on Celis. I'm on Minwoo, huh? Oh yeah, I'm on Minwoo, sorry. So with Minwoo, um, I do want Minwoo's BT effect up also. So yeah, let's just get Minwoo's BT effect up. We're just going to go crazy and get these guys all set up here. And then we will do selfie and like do a bunch of setup with selfie uh, to get built up. But we'll take a couple of just like turns with Maria here just to kind of get it going. But I know Ultimecia is going to be nasty and take some turns. So if I'm not set up, uh, we could take some damage. But the whole idea is this party should just be like healing me like crazy, right? And I want to make sure I have enough room for debuffs on the enemies. So let's get the Raijin prod down right away just because I want to make sure I don't die in this showcase. Because I'm used to when I'm running this Ultimecia fight having like a dedicated tank. And Celis is a tank, but she can't just like mitigate out all the damage, right? So let's go ahead and let's start with Maria's LD targeted serial fire. So I just kind of want to watch the damage here. It's my first time using her after her upgrade, right? So let's see what kind of damage we get. Okay, yeah, about 500k AoE. Nothing too crazy, but she has a lot that kind of comes packed in with that. So let's talk about this. So this does battery based on max brave. Literally like all of her buttons battery on max brave pretty much. So you're going to get battery like constantly. So that's good. We're going to feel pretty good about that. Um, and then it does a party heal as well. And then any excess, the, the nice thing too is on her healing, like excess uh, healing will become brave. And then it puts the Hitote debuff down on the enemy. So the enemy should have that for 10 turns and it shows as a trap debuff. Okay. Now this, this debuff is kind of unique. So what it does is HP damage up 20%, which is awesome. And then the Inflictor, which in this case will be Maria, steals 30% of Game Brave, which is cool. And then it's going to trigger a couple of like traps. So it actually triggers two traps with it. So basically what happens is um, right before the enemy takes a turn, it's going to trigger Haya, which is basically going to gravity them down to zero, do a party battery and a party heal. And then that goes into Otoya, which is an attack which uh, will basically lower the count of the trap. But we get this for 10 turns. So basically, you can think of it as kind of one track or one trap that has two phases. It basically has a gravity heal battery phase, and then it immediately follows up with an attack and then lowers the turn count by one. But dude, 10 turns on a trap like that is kind of insane. Now with Celis, um, we definitely want a Runic. Um, and sure, let's do a Lilith set debuff. Just load these guys up with some insane debuffs. And then let's go ahead and do a, um, we want Runic, so let's Runic. Now I do want Celis' BT effect, but I need to get her, I want to get her LD traps on first. And I'm not worried about them being full on traps right now because Lilliset I know did generics there. So we'll just overwrite one of Lilliset's generics, so no big deal. But dude, this team is just like all of these crazy traps just like on the enemies. So, like, these enemies, like, look at all the traps that are on these guys right now. So, if we just go to Ultimecia, right? Oh, low battery, come on. It's been a while since I've had the low battery warning. All right, we're going to make it. So, we have Holy Anchor, which comes from Minwoo. Uh, we've got the Hitote, and then we've got, um, oh, God, and then we've got the Magitek Ice Blocks. We got, like, three, like, off-turn trappy type things, right? All right, so I've already got BT effect up with Minwoo, so I think we're just going to go ahead and, sure, let's just LD. Actually, I probably should have done some selfie stuff there, but that's okay. We're going to go through and do that. Okay, and then we'll let the enemies take some turns here. So there's the Haya, so, and then there's the Otoya. So we get that back-to-back -back before they go. Oh, and you're going to try to confuse, but that's okay. Because we had Raijin to stop that, so that's good. And then all the follow-ups, right? Look at all these follow-ups. I love these defense team comps. Once again, it's going to be crazy when we get the burst going and we've just got all of this crap going, right? And then Apocalypse, this should be fine because we've got everything going. Celis is going to absorb, yeah. Okay. But now she's taking a bunch of turns. The thing with Ultimecia is she's very quickly going to burn through this Raijin. That's what's annoying, right? The nice thing is we break mid-turn and then push our allies forward, which is really, really nice, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about launching the selfie. But what I think I'm literally going to do, because I want to show this off like right now, because Ultimecia is being aggressive. 
So I think I just want to try to get into FR. So let's just grab selfie like right now. <laughs> and let's just wall out. I'm not going to worry about putting launching on. That's not really the purpose of this team build. Although launching would give us more damage. But let's just wall out and see if we can't get... I don't think we're going to quite make it to an FR. But I want to get as close as I can to it. Just so that Maria is ready to go. And then we can just show off another Maria attack here. I just hope that we hold out in these. I mean, this team should be fairly defensive. Like, I don't think we're going to die. And we're going to counter in between and just, like, heal up and get our turns back, right? The one thing to note about uh, Maria that I forgot to mention about the calls, you could give her, like, on-break calls because with her trap, she's going to be breaking a lot, right? And she's always going to gravity down first, so the enemies are always going to be easy to break. All right, so we're not quite up to it. So let's do a HP heal attack all. So this is just going to be like a, a, an attack up and then like an on-spot heal if you need it. So it's just nice to have like the stat buff there, right? All right, let's go ahead and let's start with her 15. Let's do proper shot. So this is going to be a party battery on max brave. It's going to be a wind attack. Um, a single target with some splash. But that's guaranteed hit. That doesn't really matter, right? And then she's just going to get a max brave up and a brave regen. So pretty basic buffs. So the 15 and 35, they're just kind of filler and like upkeeping the buffs. The, the 35 has better buffs on it. But let's do proper shot first. We'll break Ultimecia back. Okay. Good. And then, yeah, decent damage, right? She's not like the crazy damage dealer, but she's going to get it all through the traps. And remember, she's primarily a support character. All right, so with Celis now, let's go ahead and get her BT effect up. Because I want her absorbing physical attacks as well. And then we should be getting pretty close to our FR in time for Maria. Oh, actually what I could have done is I could have runic a couple times to get some free turns, but that's okay. If Celis gets up again, I might just runic a couple times. Well, let's see. So once again, before enemies turns, Maria's traps trigger. Okay, Hell's Judgment. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we got a couple misses there, so we're good. Holy Trap. And then once again, break her back. So when the, the enemy's stealing a bunch of turns, we're always going to interrupt and break them, which is really, really nice, right? So now we got Minwoo up, and yeah, we're pretty much there. Uh, Minwoo, yeah, we can definitely EX here. I could delete turns too, but I actually don't want to delete turns here. Minwoo is pretty crazy. It's actually been a while since I've used Minwoo, so kind of nice to use him again. Okay, so we'll let uh, Ultimecia go. <laughs> and then just a bajillion traps. Just keep raining them down. Keep raining them down. Just a, a million, and then they take their turn. Maria's going to do more. Um, Ultimisa is going to gain Brave. Actually, she didn't. Yeah, so she gains Brave, and then we just break her back. So, like, this is great. Because, like, when the enemies, unless the enemies have frame turns, you're always going to be able to break them behind you mid-turn, right? And now, we're ready to pop an FR. And obviously, we'll go through everything. Now, the one thing with this showcase that'll be a little bit odd is I can't do Luna Frey and give her a bunch of turns. But we don't need to. Right, so just as Maria gets attacked, I'll keep explaining them. But let's pop this FR, which is twin bow play. Uh, let's watch the animation together here. So with Trey, which is fitting because they're both bow users and focus on traps. So this is like the perfect combo right here. Okay, 1.2 mil. That's pretty good for an FR. Like, that's pretty standard, right? All right, so let's just watch and we'll watch the percentages go up. I will explain what's happening here, but I just kind of want to watch this without missing it. So we get 6% there. Holy, yep, that's going to absorb 20%. <laughs> and then we're going to trigger another one, 6%. This should be another 6%. Magitek Ice Block, this should be 6%. Yep. So it's a lot of small ticks. So let me explain what happens here with the FR, right? So basically it does the big attack. This also applies the 10 turn trap. So it's another way to access that trap, um, which is awesome. Um, and then the HP damage condition. So if the enemy has zero brave after their turn or if they're broken, 20%. So we did see a 20% trigger in there. And the reason why that works so good with Maria is because she's gravitating through her trap. And this combos well with other trap characters because they're always going to burst the enemy's brave down. Like they're never going to have brave. So you're always going to trigger at 20% when they take a turn. Then what happens is, is you get um, percentages based on healing. So... The reason why we were getting 6% there is you get 2% per ally healed off turn. So all, all those off turn heals were 6%. But if you heal on your own turn, which we're going to show with Celis here, you get another 5% per ally. So what's going to happen is, is Celis is actually going to do 7% per ally because you still get the other 2% for the, that you would normally get during off turn, right? So let's do Shine Edge, which we know heals. So let's go ahead and pop that. And then, bam, 36%. So, 
just a big chunk there, right? So on turn, we're getting little chunks and then we're just getting all these off turn chunks. So we're gonna see how high we can get the gauge. There's 20% because they were broken when they took their turn. More traps, 6% per trap, right? Ultimecia coming in, trying to do stuff. She's gonna cut in order, we don't care. Sure, do all that stuff, take a million turns. We don't care, because we're off turn healing constantly. Even if she gets some HP damage through, unless she one shots, we're gonna immediately like break, get a turn back, and we're just healing constantly. Like, it, it, it's kind of like that defense comp where we're just like in autoplay mode right now, right? So sure, try to, okay, did a little bit of damage, that's okay, we're overhealed. We're just healing everything back, rebroke, got a turn. Just passively pushing up to 300%. We're on turn 9, by the way. So you see those 6 percentages, and it doesn't seem like much, but it's like the core setup, right? All those little ticks add up, and when the enemies are really aggressive, it just kind of goes crazy. Uh, we definitely do not want to teleport here. Um, let's just go crazy and do another Solar Rebirth. Sure. And then 10%. I mean, it wasn't a healing attack, but that's fine. And then... You know, just let Maria's traps pop off. Yeah, this is fun. This is definitely my jam. So I'm totally glad I summoned for Maria here. Uh, sure, we'll interrupt. Take a turn. All right, Maria gets another turn. So we get to show off another one of her attacks. <clears throat> By the way, the enemy's just melting away. We're on turn eight of four. So still have plenty of force turns left, right? The nice thing with Maria is she's going to heal on just about everything. So let's do the EX. So let's check out her EX. Um, oh, you know what? I might hold off on... Well, I want to do the X at some point, but her X doesn't actually heal. So let's do Arrow Rain, just because we haven't done it yet, and we know this is going to heal, and it's going to push our gauge a little bit more. So Arrow Rain is your AoE attack, so if you need to AoE Brave Shave, that, shave that's the button you're going to press. Does split HP damage, but does a big fat party heal, and then it does a party attack up, and then it buffs herself with Anti-Imperial Force. Anti-Imperial Force is a very important buff you want to upkeep, because it's like all party stats. Party physical attack up, party max brave up, brave gains up, HP damage up, brave damage up, HP regen, overflow gained, overflow stolen up. So all of that packed into one buff. So we definitely want to hit arrow range. So let's hit that. This should be a fat percentage because we are doing an on turn heal. So what do we get? Yeah, 36, which is what Celis got, right? Very good. And then let's trap away. Let's build up a little bit more. And then on the next turn, we'll show off uh, Maria's... E uh, yeah, <laughs> look at that. Doing nothing to sell us there. Now, we do need to make sure we keep traps like upkept because Ultimisia is taking a lot of turns, right? So we got to make sure we pay attention to that. All right, so let's take Minwu here. And let's go at... Sure, let's Soul Convergence. That sounds pretty good. Pop the EX. Why not? Oh, Dude, 3 mil, yeah, AoE, pretty nice shot there. And then we'll let our traps kind of go crazy and do their thing. It's <laughs> just a million traps. Oh my gosh. And this is, obviously you want Minwoo's burst effect up, because then he's triggering double traps, right? So that's part of what's making this look so good. Now Minwoo's only got two turns of burst effect left, so it could fall off, but the enemies are being pretty aggressive, right? So, sure, take a million turns, Ultimecia. The bad part is, is we're always going to interrupt, but she still takes like a ton of turns, right? So, all right, let's get that going. All right, so we did have, one of our traps did fall off of Ultimecia, so I got to see what we've got to refresh here. Actually, the enemies are still going. That's fine. We'll just keep pumping our gauge up. We'll let the other enemy take a turn and let me pump the uh, force gauge up a little bit. Sounds good. Uh, guess what? Physical damage is now magic damage because we have our burst effect up, so we'll absorb that. <laughs> we'll just keep popping off like, what is that, 7 mil? No, that was 700k. I'm like, 7 mil would be crazy there on a trap. But yeah, we're popping off big damage. Look, the enemies are just melting away right in front of us. They are just melting away right in front of us. Sure, we'll absorb that. Celis is pretty cool like that. Sure, 20% because you took a turn without Brave, sure. 6% to pop. Like, like... <laughs> I don't even have to press buttons at this point. Like, the game just runs itself. And the enemies just melt away. <laughs> Dude, this is a fun team comp. I'm not going to lie, this is a fun team comp. Okay, so sure, now we're going to interrupt. There we go. All right, so <laughs> Ultimis has done a very good job, though, of eating a lot of turns and burning these debuffs. So we got Holy Anchor and Hitote. So we do, we got to refresh Celis. So Celis, um, let's refresh with Freeze Dive here. <laughs> Celis's uh, Magitek Ice Block fell off because uh, Ultimisia was very aggressive. Okay, perfect. We take Magitek Ice Block back. <laughs> we uh, 
continue to uh, do. I'm, am I even? I'm not even going to get through this force time, you guys. By the way, we're not even going to finish this. <laughs> They're just melting away too quick. We still got to show Maria's ex. So let's get the ex in the video so we can say that we've done all of Maria's attacks. Uh, 652 with five turns. So we're on pace. If the game would allow it for like a 1300 percent gauge, that's what we're on pace for. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to get it because it caps at 999, but you see where this is going, right? <laughs> um, no, I'm not trying to make you look at this and be like, oh, I need to get Maria, right? Like, it's, I've got a very specific team comp here, but if you have access to this, like, this is a fun thing to have. Um, yeah, dude, can I please get Maria's EX in the video? Do not kill the enemies, please. All right, look at, look, <laughs> like, I've literally done each of Maria's attacks one time. And the enemies are 5% and 4%. This EX is probably going to finish it. So the EX <laughs> is a single target attack with some splash on it. She does get a free ability use on her next turn, which you will not see. Um, and it does put explode on the enemies, which we haven't even seen yet, which is basically an off turn gravity that batteries the party based on sap. So that's just another cool thing she has. So sure, let's hit it. <laughs> we haven't even seen this yet. It's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, <laughs> 6 mil AoE. So... Anyways, there you go, guys. That's Maria. Very fun character. Now, as cool as I made her look here, once again, I wouldn't feel pressure to sum, uh, pressure to summon for her. Remember, Jack Garland is coming, which is better for, like, the average player to have. But if you like what you saw here and you think you're going to use her, she is a fun character to pull for if you've got the resources for it. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Maria. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.